Hey there, so welcome back to another video. So, you guys probably already know what the video is. Not even gonna do the whole, as you can see, about the thumbnail. But thank you so much to everybody that voted on the polls uh, over the weekend. I really appreciate it. And yeah, it's always cool to know what you guys want to see. And then it's, it's important for me to sort of deliver those once. And yeah, all of the polls that I put up over the weekend, literally every single topic that was there, were all things that I was interested in. So if any one of those topics won, I would have been happy. But yeah, I think the ones that I was most excited to do were the Salem Witch Trials and Medusa. So I'm quite happy that Medusa won. And then obviously, um, i just like to clear it up that to sum this story about Medusa is just a myth. And to some, it is history. And for that reason, I will be keeping the title History and Makeup. I was debating on whether to do like myth slash history, but I'm just going to keep it as history just because there are people who this is history to them. So period. So it's going to be a lot like the first History and Makeup video that I did with the History of Drag and things. Um, I'm just going to be doing a makeup application and then I'll be explaining the story and the history in a voiceover. So yeah, um, let me quickly walk you through what I was thinking for this look. So for a minute I was thinking about doing a, like a real Medusa makeup look and trying to recreate or sort of translate that sort of snake element into makeup. And I still think that that's a really cute idea, but I'll probably do that for like an Instagram look or something. But for the look that we're doing today, um, you probably already saw, but we're going to be doing a, like a stone look, like as if I was someone that walked into Medusa's lair and, you know, looked at her and now I'm stone. So basically I do have some rhinestones um, and I love rhinestones so much. So I do want to incorporate them somehow. You know, like they are those, um, what do you call them? Those rocks. And then you break them open and then there's like diamonds and crystals on the inside. So I was thinking about doing something along that line. I think they call them geodes. I don't know. But yeah, so basically we're going to be doing a statue slash stone look. <laughs> If that makes any sense. But y'all, with all that being said, and let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we've all heard about Medusa. Obviously, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is the snakes for hair and the fact that she turns people into stone. And basically, I feel like whenever we think of Medusa, we see her as this villain character that turns people into stone and is evil and things like that and there's actually a little more to her story than we think we know so yeah hopefully i can shed some light on the actual story so basically i'm not going to go too much into depth about medusa's parents and her sisters and things like that but basically she was the only mortal of three gorgon sisters and uh, a gorgon i'm not going to go into that too much but it's also a creature from greek mythology basically she was the only mortal one and she was super super pretty like wow she wasn't always this like creature or beast with snake hair and you couldn't look at her kind of a thing basically she was very very pretty and lots of men because you know men can't control themselves and they are entitled to everything and anything but anyways lots of men lusted after medusa and they they wanted her for themselves because like i said they're entitled but medusa was the priestess of athena's temple so she basically vowed herself to athena and promised to stay pure basically people would go to athena's temple sometimes not even to worship athena but just to look at medusa and like bask in her beauty and lots of people even said that her hair was more beautiful than athena's hair which already started to like spark some jealousy from Athena because it's like how can this mortal have prettier hair than me excuse me so anyways then I don't know probably one day she was walking down the beach or something and Poseidon saw her who we all know Poseidon he is the Greek god of the sea and the ocean and things like that and he basically he wanted her to himself like most of them did and because he was a god 
his ego was just like through the roof. So when Medusa said, no, I'm keeping myself pure for, cause I'm literally gonna be head priestess of, you know, Athena's temple, he got very upset and he basically took her by force. So that's something that I don't think lots of people know about Medusa's story is that she was raped by a god who thought he was entitled to her body just because of his status, which can relate to a lot of what's happening today as well. So basically, you know, Poseidon said, I don't care what you say, I will be doing the deed with you, ma'am. And Medusa got scared and she ran into Athena's temple because, hello, like, she's devoting her life to this goddess. And she ran into the temple and asked Athena for help. So she ran into the temple seeking protection and hoping that Athena would help her. But Athena didn't. And Poseidon had his way with Medusa in the temple. So when Poseidon left, Athena took it upon herself to only then show up. And she basically was super upset with Medusa for, first of all, breaking the promise of you know, purity and virginity, and for literally having sex in Athena's temple. So Athena was like really cross, she was really upset, and she cursed Medusa because cursing Poseidon was completely off the table, just because he was a god, just because of his status. Now how relevant is this to our everyday life? How relevant is this to what happens actually? People aren't persecuted for their actions because of their status. People think that they can do whatever they want because of their status. So it's like super sad. But anyways, so basically Athena cursed Medusa and took away her hair that people complimented her on in a fit of jealousy basically. She said like, that hair that's so pretty, it's turning into snakes now. And then because people came into Athena's temple not to worship her, but to look at Medusa, Athena said, now no one will look at you. Whoever looks at you will turn to stone. So obviously lots of people heard about Medusa and the fact that she was cursed and lots of people, lots of men, wanted to add Medusa's head to their collection of trophies. So yeah, and lots of people tried to kill Medusa, but no one could. Everyone was turned to stone. In lots of the movies, you see that she has like a whole bunch of statues and it's sort of like a garden of statues, if that makes sense. It's because so many people tried to kill her and failed. Um, I do not know where I paused the video, so I do not know how much has gone away. But I'm very frustrated at the moment. Anyways, I'm going to carry on. It's almost like ironic because they go there to decapitate her and keep her head as a trophy. But in actual fact, she is petrifying them, turning them into stone and keeping them as trophies. So basically another part of the story that's missing is that, so Perseus, who, if you've watched Clash of the Titans, Percy Jackson, him, he is the one that kills Medusa. And basically something that both the movies, all the movies basically leave out is that Perseus was aided by the gods. So he was given things to help him kill Medusa. He was given a helmet by Hades to make him invisible. He was given a shield from Athena that would deflect Medusa's gaze. He was given sandals by Hermes so that he could fly around. And he was given a sword, I think from Zeus, that was sharp enough to cut off her head. So basically this woman was raped by a god and then got punished for the god's crimes and cursed by a goddess and then was slain by a demigod who was aided by the gods to kill her. So it just seems a little unfair if you ask me, like leave her alone, leave her, leave Medusa alone, period. Hashtag leave Medusa alone. And another thing that people forget about the story is that basically after Perseus cuts off Medusa's head, because she is pregnant with Poseidon's offspring, a Pegasus jumps out of her neck. <laughs> 
which that is such a grim detail i know gross but that's basically what happens and that's also something that lots of the movies get wrong because all the movies perseus just gets a pegasus from somewhere but it's actually from medusa like it's almost like she gave birth to it and then obviously perseus uses her head as a weapon against all the titans so it's just very ironic to me and it's super upsetting because medusa is cursed for being beautiful and being raped and then Perseus kills her and uses her abilities basically. So I think she's like one of the most misunderstood characters of all time. So yeah hopefully there'll be a movie coming out soon where we see her true story and almost like you know how they made Maleficent into like a tragic character like I hope we get that for Medusa because it's what she deserves and like I just feel so bad for her so yeah that's the story of Medusa I hope that you see what I see in her story I hope it also I hope it wasn't too graphic <laughs> but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed Okay, so as you can see, we are done with the look. And as you can also see, most of the footage is gone. And that's because my dumbass didn't press play after pausing it again. So I am very frustrated, but I am not going to re-upload. I'm not going to redo this look. I just, I don't have time. But I am sure it looks cool. I know that you guys missed out on a lot of the process of getting here. And I do apologize for that. From now on, I'm just never, ever, 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 ever going to press the pause button because enough with the sob story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was cool and like informative. I hope you learned a little more about uh, Greek mythology and about Medusa and things like that. I really appreciate all the love and support. Again, thank you again for voting in the polls this week. You know, it's just, it's one of those things, these things happen, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I'm not going to be sad about it for the rest of my life, I'm just going to be sad about it for a few days. <laughs> Anyways, again, I am very, very sorry. I hope it's not too much of an inconvenience that half like the whole middle of the makeup basically was lost uh, i hope you guys have a great morning or evening or night and i can't wait to see you next time bye